G'day folks, just a bit of an update at the moment. I'm uh, continuing to electrolytically clean the Westinghouse housing. I'm probably going to be working most of this weekend, so I don't think I'll be doing many videos. Although I hope to get down the scrapyard about midday Saturday, knock off early and try and pull the engine out of that Nissan 720 pickup. They want to crush that pretty soon. I'm just doing a bit of work on this one. I'm trying to fill a spray putty primer. And that looks like it'll work all right. Uh, taking the tags off at the moment, you can see some of the original paint. Very thick. There's a bit big, thick coating under there. They've used uh, a bit of red oxide paint as a build-up primer. Really lumped it on to cover all this pitting in the iron casting, especially that mould seam line. So I'm going to go with flat black as usual on the outside. Inside might be a bit different though. I'm thinking maybe white really show off the insides. Paint the inside surface white and have the poles and everything different colour. So the next step is going to take this plate off and see what's underneath it. This surface been, has been cleaned pretty well with electrolysis. See a bit of rust pitting there from the uh, old rust. And there's a bit of a, set, a line where the electrolyte stopped. So the next step is to flip it onto its face and then uh, do that side. Not too much rust considering it's been out here for a while. I didn't dry it out, I just let it air dry at room temperature. Okay, I gave the tags a light polish and they came up nice. Still a bit unclear on the kilowatts. It looks like they've stamped a couple of uh, decimal points in there. Either 4.5 or 6.5 kilowatts. So, uh, it just seems a bit low for such a big machine. Then again, it's only 50 amps, so maybe it is. Serial number, a bit hard to read. I think it's a 815451. Yeah, it's an. Oh no, sorry, that's a 6. It's just struck right on the edge. It looks a bit like an 8 or a 3, but it's actually a 6. 615451. And that's the distributor tag, Queensbridge, Melbourne. The phone number might give some info on its age. I mean, how long have we used M2291-2? M's obviously the switchboard, Melbourne. And the number, well, it's a pretty short number. It's got to be pretty bloody old. It's a nice cast bronze tag. That looked good. OK, I just did a quick search and found a bit of info. They had a stand at the Royal Melbourne Show in 1950. Obviously they were Michelin distributors and also, as you can see in the background, commercial Westinghouse equipment. Got washing ground washing machine and stove in the background. Fridges and so on. That's our company. And that's the only other one I can find. It's definitely their logo on the door though. 1956 though. The generator's older than that. Yeah, likewise with a uh, list of generating set, circa 1956. Neat little unit in itself. And a little more in the uh, distributor stuff. Uh, this is it? Newspapers.nla.gov.au. This is from 1926, Tuesday 14th of December. Advertising Exide Long Life Batteries. It's funny, I still use Exide batteries today at my work, except they're made in China. <laughs> Olsley, Hillman and Trojan. Old car ad. i probably spend hours going through this place. Oh, look at those low prices. <laughs> Complete with high tension magneto, balloon tyres, all weather hood, all Australian body. <laughs> the Hillman. Yeah, definitely got to get onto this website one day. So, this company goes back into the 20s or even further, so who knows? This generator is probably teens or 20s. And it's funny how everyone's paranoid about fuel prices even in the 20s. Citroen economy. 
Preston Motors, Franklin Street, Melbourne. <laughs> Probably still there today.